Hello everyone! Welcome back to Draft and Dialogue. In today's session, we are going to work on an important topic in engineering graphics, first angle projection of objects. We'll begin by briefly comparing the first angle and third angle projection systems, and then focus on the first angle projection in detail. To make it clear, we'll take an example of a 3D object with height 6 units, width 6 units, and depth 7 units, and see how its three views are arranged in first angle projection. So, let's get started. In the first angle projection system, the object is imagined to be placed in the first quadrant. That means the object is between the observer and the plane of projection. As a result, the front view is drawn at the center. The top view is drawn below the front view. The left side view is drawn to the right of the front view. In the third angle projection system, the object is imagined to placed in the third quadrant. Here the plane of projection lies between the observer and the object. As a result, the front view is drawn at the center. The top view is drawn above the front view. The left side view is drawn to the left of the front view. Now, in this video, I will focus on the first angle projection to make things clear. Suppose the object has height equals 6 units. Depth equals 7 units, width equals 6 units. When we apply first angle projection, front view FV, looking from the front, we see the height and width of the object 6 units times 6 units. The depth is hidden because it is perpendicular to our sight. Top view TV, when we look from the top, the width and depth 6 units times 7 units are visible. The height is not seen. According to the first angle rule, this view is drawn below the front view. Left side view LSV. From the left side, the height and depth 6 units times 7 units are visible, while the width is hidden. According to the first angle rule, this view is placed to the right of the front view. We will start with the top view, then move to the front view, and finally to the left side view. In the top view, we mainly observe two shapes rectangles, one measuring for 7 units, and another measuring to 7 units. Before 7 rectangle has a 2 for rectangle cut out from it, While the two seven rectangle consists of two 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 squares placed side by side, along with a two three rectangle at the center between them. As we know, this side represents the front view. In the front view, the visible lines are measured along the width and height, while the depth is not represented. Because the depth direction is perpendicular to the observer, it appears as a single point.
In the front view, there is one feature that is hidden, represented by a dashed line two units long. This hidden line corresponds to a depth of two units, which can be confirmed when viewed from the side. For now, let's draw a rectangle in the front view with a height of two units and a width of seven units. This rectangle is divided by a line placed for units from the front plane, making it appear as a partition. On top of this rectangle at the base, we add a U-shaped cut. The central opening of this U-shape has a width of 3 units and a depth of 2 units, as seen from the side view. The hidden line in the front view is projected from this 2 unit depth and is represented by a dashed line to show the depth of the U.S. shaped hole. I hope this walkthrough made the concept clearer and easier to understand. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Draft and Dialog for more engineering graphics tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session. Until then, keep practicing and keep learning.